Solutions Review is on location at Commvault Go in Nashville, Tennessee. Brought to you by Commvault. Hey, it's Doug Atkinson down here at Commvault Go 2018 at the Gaylord Opryland Hotel in Nashville, Tennessee. We're with one of Commvault's partners. That's Michael Stolarczyk, Vice President of Cloud Managed Services. Correct. At Veristore. That's right. Now, you can tell here we're, we're in the middle of it all, yep. uh, and it just opened up. Uh, and you're one of uh, one of the sponsors of this event. Tell me about a little bit about how you guys got involved with Commvault and uh, and where you're headed. We'll we'll do. So we've been a sponsor of all three uh, Commvault goes the third one this year. Um, have been a Commvault partner for almost uh, ten years, and um, we've been Southeastern Partner of the Year with Commvault uh, out of Atlanta uh, for eight straight years. So we have been in with them from the beginning. Uh, trying to develop client-aligned, client-attuned solutions uh, uh, based on some backup uh, solutions and also archiving, and, and now really getting into data resiliency with some of the ex expansive uh, new opportunities that Commvault presents uh, to their client base. Well, I know Commvault, one of the things that they're announcing this, this Commvault Go is that they're becoming much more partner-centric. Yep. Uh, what does that mean to you guys in particular? Well, we've always had a great relationship with Commvault and what we've seen in the past is excellent support, uh, excellent interaction with leadership all the way you know, down to the frontline uh, commercial folks that they have. But um, they're really now relying much more on the channel. They want us to, to kind of develop and, and draw into the uh, sales funnel uh, different opportunities for them with enterprise level organizations and also you know, small businesses as well. So uh, the support remains the same, the, the interaction I think has increased, um, and I think the um, enthusiasm from both sides, from our side and from theirs as it relates to interacting with our clients has increased as well. Now so how does it work with Veristore and Commvault in terms of your engaging with the customer? So uh, most of the time we're, we're driving the uh, initial contact um, with Commvault, whether it be under their perpetual licenses or whether it's via our, our platform uh, in my group, uh, which is Cloud Managed Services, where we're going in and fully managing the Commvault instance and, and developing the relationship, uh, the retention policies, um, what the, those clients want to do specifically with the Commvault platform. And I think we add a very unique um, ear to, to the business where we really go in and through a lot of empathy, a lot of active listening, you know, create these solutions that sometimes aren't necessarily just cookie cutter approach. Um, and and Commvault has been great um, as a partner in helping us develop, you know, solutions that may not be just off the shelf. Well, and I know Commvault has, has spent a lot of time this morning and, and uh, yesterday talking about how they're bringing they're, they're consolidating their offering and, and making it a little more modular, a little more potentially streamlined. I know as a, right. maybe as a longtime partner, you've seen uh, how that can potentially make it a little more simple for yeah, and engaging I, and I, with the customer. Yeah, and I think that the great thing about Commvault is, you know, essentially anything that you want to back up, you can back up, whether it's, uh, you know, physical appliances, whether it's virtual appliances, whether you want to go to the cloud or whether you want it on-prem or hybrid. and. Um, that's always been the, the keystone to, to Commvault's offering. Now what they're doing is their interface, uh, their, their uh, dashboards, and what the client can use, and also as a partner, what we can use to help proactively manage backups, making sure um, that they, they go smoothly on a nightly basis or whenever the client wants. Um, they're really doing a good job of listening to us as a, as a valued partner, um, voicing needs and requirements from our customers and evolving that that platform especially the interaction the dashboard and the and, and what you can do now from a visibility perspective into the comp cell so I'm curious about about you, you know what you're hearing from customers so w what are you seeing as kind of the the triggering point these days for customers thinking about either you know better backup more coverage and disaster recovery or, or even moving to a cloud solution? Well, I, I think, you know, in, in a classic manner, it's always about uh, reviewing costs and reviewing, you know, productivities and, and reviewing what your core business is as an organization. And, you know, we've always said that from our perspective, let us come in and do a very consistent 
measured, uh, absolutely dead solid perfect approach to, to backups and let your IT professional focus on you know, marketing, increased sales, increased efficiencies or solutions based on whatever platform that you may be selling or service that you may be selling or product that you may be selling. Let us do those repetitive things, do them really, really well so they're in the background and through exception management, you know, we may connect with you, we may have to address some issues, but your smart people are not focusing on um, you know, the blocking and tackling. They're focusing on expanding the business and they're letting organizations like Veristore Systems manage that, facilitate it, and make sure that it's running smoothly. And then, and then be measured by that and make sure that we're meeting uh, their requirements on the SLA. Well, and that's really, a, that's really a challenge these days because there's a lack of effectively talent uh, as a talent pool available to do that sort of manual yeah, I mean that, blocking and tackling. I mean, that's an excellent observation and, and very, very true. And, and I think um, one of the things that we always talk about is how you know our our knock, um, our solutions engineers, um, you know, that are 25, 26 strong, we're an extension of their IT organization. So, if you've got a company that that had to reduce some force or had to take some financial decisions uh, on what they want to do IT wise. You know, you've got an IT manager or an IT director or even a CTO that can come to us and say, hey, we've got a whole team of 25 people to deploy on your behalf for a monthly cost. Um, it's not on the balance sheet and um, it's going to be there and it's going to evolve based on your direction and then let us do the hard work. Well, Michael, thanks very much for swinging by. This was very helpful. Uh, I hope you have a great show. I appreciate it, Doug. It's great to meet you all and thank you for the time. You bet. Thanks. Thanks.